One of the most commonly animated elements on the web is text. And when scrolling through inspiration websites, you'll find hundreds of creative examples of this. But as a designer in Figma, how do we recreate these effects? In this short video, I'll show you three examples and one technique that will help you create so many different creative animations inside of Figma. And before we start, the Figma file is linked in the description below if you wanna follow along. Now let's waste no more time and get straight into it. All right, everyone, so we're inside of Figma and let's get started with the first animation here. The first animation is what I call a domino text animation. And you can see how each letter here is revealed in a sequence and that's why it's a domino effect. It kind of reveals itself or it falls in a sequence. So that's the first one. The second one is what I call an elevator effect. So you can see how we go from this elevator text here to another elevator, but upside down text. And it goes up and down like an elevator. The third one is this masked effect where we get this block, this white block, blocking the text and then it is swapped out from masked to hello. We're gonna recreate all of these. So let's start with the domino effect. And if you've seen any of my animation tutorials before, you'll know that I like using component sets when I create animations. So we'll do the same thing today. But let's grab this variant here from the component set. Let's take it and let's detach the instance so that we can look at what we have here, how it's built. So this is the first frame in the domino animation. The second frame is just a duplicate of this. So I'll take it, I'll paste it again. I'll take all of these letters, I'll align them like this I'll drag them down into the container and that's all. You don't have anything else to this animation. So now if I select both of these and I click here, I click create component set and then I go into my component set here. I click on the first one on the container and I'm almost forgetting to tell you something here. One of the most important things in this is to first of all, use a frame. So let me go back real quick. So you can see here that we have frames containing the text here. The most important point with these kinds of animations is that we add clip content or we check clip content here so that we don't see the text when it's outside of the frame. Now that I've clipped the content, I can go back here, create the component set, then I can go to the first one here. So the first container, I'll go to the prototype settings. Then I'll connect this to the second one. I'll have it be after delay so that we don't have to click or hover. And I'll change to smart animate. So if it's instant, we change to smart animate. And then I've chosen general here. And that's quite a nice animation. I like that one. And I've changed this to 500 milliseconds. So the duration of the animation is 500 milliseconds. Right now, it's just gonna animate into this, but it won't go back. So if we wanted to go back, I'll take this and I'll say the same thing. After delay, one millisecond, and then the same kind of smart animate animation. Now, if I take this, drag it up into my frame where I have the actual flow, so the interaction flow, and I play it again, you'll see that we have the exact same animation or actually not the exact same because the timing is a bit different here, you can see. But that's how easy it is to create this domino reveal effect animation. So that one is done. Let's move over to the next one, the elevator effect, which is also quite easy. So I'll grab this. I'll detach it again to show you guys and we'll go to the layer here. 
and you can see that we have a container once again with click content. Then we have this auto layout with two text fields in it. You don't have to use an auto layout. I use it because I think it's easier because you have just one object that you need to move. So if I click here and clip content, you can see that the auto layout here is outside of the frame. So the top of it with the upside down text is outside of the frame. So in my second state here, I want to duplicate this. I want to take the auto layout. I want to move it so that we see the upside down text instead. And that's all there is to it. I click prototype. Oh, sorry. First, we create a component set. Then I go here. I create a prototype. I click after delay, one millisecond, and then we can have the same thing happening. So 500 milliseconds in a general kind of animation way. So let's grab this, put it into this frame again, and let's go to elevator. And you can see that it is replicated. So that's the second one. The third one has two more steps than the previous ones. So let's grab this and let's dissect it. So detach, and we have the container. You can see here in this one, so I go in here once again, frame, clip content. You can see that we have this block, this masking block, and we have the second text. Now, the first thing that happens in this animation is that the block just covers the previous text. So the block covers the previous text like this. Okay, and that's the only thing happening. The second step is where we exchange the text. So I'll take this mask text, I'll move it outside of the frame, and we'll take this hello text and move it inside of the frame. And then the last step is just that, oh, by the way, we need to remove this block as well. That's also part of the third step. The last step is just that this block is again masking the text. So from here, we can go back and target all of them, click Create Component Set once again, then we'll go in here, and now I can see that these were inside of the frame, same with this text. Um, we make sure that everything is clip content, like that, and we go into the prototype settings. Once again, we connect to each and every one of these, so after delay, one millisecond, and from this one to the third one, same settings. And this one to the fourth one, same settings. And this one back to the first one, same settings. Then I'll just take this one again, the first one, place it inside of here. Then we'll go back in here and see how it works. And you can see that it works in the same way. If you like this, I really think you should check out my Master Figma Animations playlist where I dive deep into everything animations. Now, until the next one, have a great life. We'll talk soon. Ciao.